Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. As today, we are talking about match preview before the match between Man United and Villarreal. Game two, Champions League, a must win game for United. Despite Ole Gunnar Conference today trying to defuse the pressure, but it is a must win or United will be under more pressure. Well, today we have Adam for Australia. Adam, welcome to the show. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, good, good, mate. Good. Very so, good. So, as it stands tomorrow, second game, what can United, what are we expecting from United? Home game. Uh, it's a United's home game tomorrow. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, isn't it, really? After, you know, Villarreal is a very, um, very well-organised team. So, um, and I think ours can be very disjointed at time. So, you know, we've had, I think, four draws against them. So, you know, the last one was obviously the final, which was 1-1 one, one, and then went to penalties. And I think yep. every other one after, the, after before that was nil-nil. So, yes. um, so it's going to be an interesting clash. You know, as we were talking before, Ollie's come out and he's staying back and McTominay and Fred um, coming out saying they've got the desire and, and um, you know, basically saying, well, the way I read it as, Donny doesn't have the desire, either does Matic. So, um, you know, Ollie's backing himself with the decisions he's making, which yeah, you want to see. Yeah, that's what he's saying. With, he's with the, you know, decisions the manager's making, so with the decisions he's making. So, you know, I've got to give him cre- give Ollie a bit of cre- credit for backing himself, but, you know, um, he might, it might come, it might bring him unstuck in the end, you know, when, um, like so arrogant. I, I feel that's a bit of arrogancy yeah. coming out saying, um, well, I don't care what the media is saying or I don't yep. care what the fans are saying. Um, you know, what do they know? You know, every, and you also comes out and say, well, everyone criticizes the lineup. Well, that's correct, but you know, um, games tell you what goes good and what doesn't go good, right? You know? So, um, yeah. It's, he talks Look, about the Arsenal. Awesome I don't about, want to lay out, but yeah, he's making a rod for his back. That's for sure. Uh, the media asked him about what Gary Neville said, and his response was, um, "Gary Neville understands the DNA of this club. We are trying to get a, a, a pattern of play. We're trying to get into that. I mean, three years you still ain't got a pattern of play." Yeah, bro. Uh, I just, I just brushed over it. So he was saying the Aston Villa game, we broke. Broke up the play really well defensively, maybe attacked too fast. So, you know, we attacked too fast because the ball, by the time the guys up front got the ball, because there was no one behind them to keep the ball, they lost the ball. They had to start again. And it's the same thing the guys in the middle couldn't even keep the ball to bring it forward. So, yeah, whether he was watching another game on that small monitor, which is probably minimizes his view. And, and skewed his view that he doesn't see what we're talking about, then I don't know what he's talking about because they broke the play. I don't what, see what they broke. What up. I get from what I'm I'm read over with the um, <clears throat> we're talking about Fred, you know, he's happy for Fred just to break up the play. It seems like he doesn't want Fred to do anything else. So maybe, maybe as fans, we're expecting too much out of Fred. Maybe he's as happy fans, Fred just Fred shouldn't start that, those games because he maybe, brings. Absolutely nothing. He can't pass. He can't create. What does it? So okay, if he but, but from, from, from all his voice, he said it. Uh, Fred breaks up the play, and that's what I like. What does so, Mo do? <clears throat> he was talking about Fred. So, <laughs> so look, if that's what all he wants, someone to break up the play, then we're in a lot of trouble because because the, the way I read the game and the way that. The knowledge that I have with the game, maybe I see it a lot different. The ball's supposed to go to Fred, and Fred's supposed to bring the ball out, Fred and McTominay, because they're a partnership. You know, the ball's supposed to go from them, feed to the Brunos or the Pogbars, and then they're supposed to be putting Ronaldo, Greenwood, you know, and that on the front foot to go and score goals with, with the support of your 10. And... Um, and your Sancho's and stuff like that. But if Ollie's just happy for Bruno, I mean, Fred to just break up the play, then 
it looks like our Varans and our Maguire are going to keep bypassing them with the ball and then trying to get into Pogba and Bruno. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I just read the game totally wrong. So, what was the point of buying Varane if we're still going to play with two? That's what I'm saying. Two, so, if you're uh, going to play the back six and you're having four up front and six behind, what's the point of buying Varane? I thought the point was yeah. buying Varane, but by you would not need to protect the back four. So, you know what I've just been trying to... I was thinking of this psychologically. I think, as you know, Van Gaal wasn't backed. Marino wasn't backed. I think Ole did not expect United to go and buy Varane or Sancho. And he honestly did not see the Ronaldo one coming. So, I think he never expected United to fulfill these purchases. So, when they've now come, he's at us. He's like, oh, what do I do with this now? Uh... I don't have an excuse. All right, let me just play with what I know. Let me play I was what... Wa- this morning I was watching City Barcelona, okay? And it's very unusual for me to watch a game, uh, a different team. Mm. But this morning I thought, oh, I'll go and watch it. I'll watch the game. Me, City and PSG. Uh, uh, sorry, City and PSG. I thought I'd message yeah. you for Barcelona. Yeah, 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 that's right. So City and PSG this morning. And and actually to the, the back end of that game, um, before I think... Peace, you're up 1-0. And then before Messi scored his goal, um, because I didn't actually see the first half, I was just watching the second half, Peace, you actually set up a low block so against City and let City come on to him. Now, if you watch PSG, and I know PSG got a lot of good players, um, the way they break out and the way they move the ball Quick. Um, yeah, in that low block, and you watch City trying to play against that low block. City just moved. And they did have that chances, a few chances before Messi scored his goal. Yes. So they moved, they pushed the ball up that quick. And their, their sixes, you like, I know we're talking about De Bruyne, but we always compared De Bruyne to Bruno, is, you know, and stuff like that. Mm. But I didn't see the City back line trying to play through their six or play through their, say, eight. Or in Pogba's instance, he plays like an 11 and an 8. So, right. um, I don't know. Like it, I, don't, I wouldn't hear Guardiola turn around and go, well, I want my 6 to break up the play and I don't want him to push forward. Exactly. Well, from what I'm hearing is that's what Ollie's trying to say. Even though Fred does get in that front third of the uh, field, but to talk about just him breaking up the play... He really needs to counteract that and talk about his attacking play as well. Uh, uh, but, that's why I said but, I don't think he expected to get all these players. So he's now got these players. He, he, because he could have had that same excuse that M- Marina had. Oh, I didn't get the players I got. He's got a world-class defender, world-class right-winger, world-class striker of all time. Still. Well, he didn't expect back, to get know? Ronaldo, that's for sure. Then no. you're still playing uh, uh, a back six. Come on, yeah. bro. At home? At home? Yeah, it's... Come on. This guy is clueless, bro. So... Yeah. That, look, what... he's, he's definitely made a rod for his back now, coming out and saying that. It's a, I'm very interested to see what other pods, actually, st- that are really close to the game and do go to the games. Because um, they, they see the game different to us, too, because they're right. at the game. We're only right. seeing a Rio, certain... Rio was there. Curtains. And he was... Yeah. Rio, Rio's been outspoken. Schmeichel, Paul Instant, all be like, uh, this style of football is. Mm, yeah, I take really... what Ince says as, with a grain of salt. To be honest with you, Ince is very cut over Manchester United. But no, he, know, he's on that. Uh, we've got a good thing to he's say about. You know? He's a regular on United stand with Goldbridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he takes it as he is because you know he was in the double ninety four team. But yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, as a midfielder, he knows his stuff. But yeah. what is so disappointing, honestly? Is Carrick who played as a midfielder? I would just expect him to know what he's doing in the midfield, but it seems he doesn't have a clue either. That I find baffling. So oh, I just look. I think Carrick does know what's going on. It's just more the players. The players aren't up to to do what they, Ollie's expecting. Fred Fred's not up to it. He's no, not, he's not up to. He's not up to it. They are they asking him to do tasks that he can't do. He can't. He right. Look. In the first half, I actually said to 
uh, people in our supporters club, you know what, Fred's having a pretty good game. He's breaking up the play and blah, blah, blah. But then on the flip side, I didn't look at his attacking side of things either. So I actually thought, I'm with Ollie. He does break up the play well. But when we're turning the ball around and we're trying to go forward, you know, and look, I said it last time, all, um, Fred and McTominay do have a good results for us. And Ollie's, Ollie's safeguarding himself. Yes. And that he's afraid he's afraid to actually put his managerial role on the line. And um, I'd rather so, Jordan lose. Yeah, that's like Ollie needs to back himself. I don't think Ollie backs himself. I think he goes into every match nervous, you know. Yeah. Um, so he he tries to say the safe way out, and um, I want Ollie in, but you know he's not he's not making things easy for himself. That's for sure. Yeah. You know? right. So, as it stands tomorrow, what do you see? Will Villarreal defend? Are United going to go all out to attack? Um, is, are United going to be cautious? Joe, welcome to the show. Hi, hey, Joey. How's it going, fellas? How's it going, mate? Right. Hey, Joe, Joey. you just did you, yeah, Not too bad. We're just trying to um, see. You saw Ole's press conference. You heard, you saw what he talked about backing McFred, the greatest partnership of all time in the midfield of United's history. So, you know, it is what it is. Um. Now, with the game tomorrow, we're going to do what we did last time. Joe, who's starting in the midfield? Who's starting defence for tomorrow for United? Unfortunately, unfortunately, if we had won the first game, I can see Ole experimenting with a uh, different midfield. But uh, I think Tomorrow it's going to be a, it's going to be McFred again. Um, if anything, there's going to be there, there might be a slight change where um, he'll switch out McTominay. So so do the defense. Who's in who's in defense? Do the defense. Standard. Um, wait a minute. Wan Bissaka is not going to be in the game. It's going to be Dalo. Um, I heard maybe uh, Luke. Should still be good if Luke is healthy enough. I'm not saying healthy. If Luke is healthy enough, he's gonna play that game. If not, it's going to be um, obviously Dalo, um, Ryan, Lindelof, and Alaris. Is Maguire out? Yeah, Maguire's out. Maguire's out like, right. for like two weeks. Oh, two, uh, like Maguire's out for a couple of weeks. Like he's right, missing. Did that just come through? Did it? That must have just come through. I didn't hear. Nah, that. that that came in. That came in like six hours ago. Wow. Um, yeah, six hours ago. Yeah, on that work. <laughs> who's in goal? Uh, who's in yeah. goal? Henderson or the guy? Oh, it's gonna be the guy. Yeah. yeah. Who Who are you putting in goal? It's too important. It's too important of a game. It's gotta be the guy. Right. All right. I don't take the midfield. Yeah, well, the, Ollie's basically said that McFred's going to be there. So, and then it'll just be your standard. Uh, Bruno will be there for sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's uh, that's already 4 3 3. Joe, pick who's playing on the right for United tomorrow? Up front. On the right. Ollie's going to need. Ollie needs um, um, security. So he's gonna put Greenwood out on the right. Greenwood he right. Needs, on. He needs he needs because there's there's no security with Sancho right now. There's security with there's there's a little bit of security with Greenwood. Okay. Adam, who's playing on the left? Oh, Pogba will be on the left for sure. Bloody hell. He's turned that guy into left winger. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna look it'll be the same side <laughs> you'll have on the weekend, except the back line. It'll be exactly I, the same. That's oh fucking crazy. I, I kind of feel like he does that because it works out and it's something that Pogba wants to do. Because if, if, if Pogba didn't want to be on the left wing, I don't think Pogba would be on the left. The only, time, the okay only time you're going to get a change there is if he drops out Fred or McTominay. 
Yeah. It's the only time, and, then, and you yeah, have the one yeah, six yeah. in front of the backs, yeah. and then you bring, then you bring Pogba further inside, and then you bring maybe, well, Sancho on the left, and yeah. you know, and then Greenwood on the right, and Ronaldo through the middle. So, right. and the, the only other way you can do it is Sancho on the right, Ronaldo on the left, and Cavani in the middle. So. So the, no. if he plays, if he plays the two sixes again, which he's likely to do, he's already said that he trusts them. So they bring you know, energy. In, yeah, they they, <laughs> they bring yeah. energy and they break up the play. So you know, he's not expecting those two <laughs> players to <laughs> attack. So we need to start making t-shirts <laughs> like my friend. They bring energy. <laughs> yeah, he he, he said <laughs> in his press conference they asked him what yeah. the fans. He said everyone has a comment. But I trust them. They bring energy. I'm thinking, what the hell? Against Villa, they broke up the play. It's just that we went too fast, so I had to break up to slow the things down. I thought this guy must be watching a different game to everybody. Oh, I'm really that hoping game. that was like a diversion. It I, must. I, I won't be surprised. Yeah, you know, I really lying. hope that was a diver- Oh yeah, I hope it's a diversion, and he and he brings in Matic and um and Donny. So. Uh, yeah, I hope yeah. that's just like him being playing, you know, diverting oh. the play there. But I can't see it. If, if I was di- Donny Van der Beek, I'd be asking for a transfer straight up if he doesn't play him tomorrow. It's it's a diversion, all right, but it's not the diversion that you think he needs. Right. Um, he's ha- yeah, think, happy. think happy with my friend. I think you think he's saying that because he's going to play somebody else. He's got some other strategy. No, but, I'm not sure they're uh, doing that. I think he's. I think he's doing that because he's trying to protect his decision. Keeping McFred yeah. in the lineup, and McFred will play in the lineup tomorrow. I can see and that. At the yeah. very yeah. least, uh, at, the, at sure. the very least, we'll see an early, um, we'll see an early uh, substitution, um, either with Van der Beek. If, oh, if things go wrong, this is only if things go wrong. If things go wrong, we'll we we'll might see an early substitution. With Donny Van der Beek in there and Matic in there, maybe even Matic before Donny, but um, this is this is all a like. If he if he does anything different, I'm actually gonna be I'm I'm actually gonna feel more confident because then it this is evidence that it's it's not just Ole just doing his, the same old like it just because at this point it's insanity right, right. it's the definition of it, of insanity right. The, the part the part that's going to get me is, you know, we've got Sancho never played last week. If he doesn't play this week, and the week before he actually got subbed off, didn't he? Um, you know, so two years we've been after him, and now he's going to turn into a Vanderbeek. Like, you, you, you absolutely, and I know it's a long season ahead, but this guy's got to get, get like, he's played through Europe. So, in my opinion, he's probably got to play tomorrow, Sancho. You know, if you know, and Greenwood may need a rest. Yeah. So, so look, I, I think Sancho may come in. You know, on, so that, on that on that right on that right side hand, on that right hand side, Greenwood may may have a rest. He, it might be an idea to maybe bring Greenwood on later on as in the game sub. for yeah. as a sub and you know let him go out go at him um, because look, I can't confidently say, sit here and say you know we're going to win three nil or we're going to go out and. Yeah, we're going to dominate this game because I haven't seen our team do it yet. So right. um, it's it's yeah. unfortunate, but I feel like if he feels like he needs to bring in Greenwood off the bench, something's fucked up. Either I think Sancho will start. Yeah, I... either we're down or we need to. Uh, we're getting too much pressure. It's it's going to feel like if he doesn't start, he, if he doesn't uh, start Greenwood. And he's coming him off the bench, and if he actually does, it's because something has something has gone wrong. We definitely. Are I just, I just, no, I, I don't know if there's anything wrong. I just more think that he's got now the players there he can turn over. So you know he's he's got like for like. So um, the 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 part is Greenwood would have played more if Ronaldo wasn't bought. Yeah, and that, that's the problem. Ronaldo's mm-hmm. been bought, so. You've got that aspect now where Greenwood has to take a set, step back. Yeah, that's the question. In that, not in that nine position, you know, and you've got Cavani there as well. So, is it, 
is is Greenwood really getting less time because of Ronaldo, or is he is he really? No, but he's getting less time, less time out of, of that nine position. Of, yeah, but he was never going to get that nine position with Cavani. Yes, hundred percent, he would have. Cavani uh, wouldn't have been starting every game. There's no way. I Yo, think Ole no Ole 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 doesn't Ole trust think, Mason as a nine yet. I, I think he's still playing off the right. But so you thought you thought if Ronaldo wasn't bought, Cavani was going to start every game at nine. Yes. Ole would have forced no him. No way, man. If we're forcing Don't McTominay you... into the midfield, Ole is forcing Cavani in there. Ole is. Yeah, but McTominay's only 20. Cavani's not. <laughs> Which is Cavani's, why Cavani Cavani's goes Cavani's in... You mean Mason? Sorry? You, you mean Mason's only 20? You, you said, no, you said saying, McTominay. I... No, didn't you say McTominay? Yeah. Didn't Joe say McTominay playing in at six? Didn't you say McTominay just then? No, no, no. I said that. If um, if Cavani, if if we never signed uh, Ronaldo, right? Cavani would be playing the position that you think Greenwood would be playing right now. I don't think Cavani would have started every game at nine. No mm, chance. No, no. But I'm saying no like b- because because Cavani is coming off the bench. Oh, okay. So this is what um, this is how I brought in the whole. Um, McTominay thing. Ollie was willing to bring in McTominay right off of an injury. Right? This, yeah. This, this goes to show that he's desperate to have oh, whatever McTominay. he feels McTominay brings to the team. Yeah. He's eager to bring that back into the lineup. The guy just recovered. Yeah. He just flew right into the West Ham game. If, he said they bring energy. So, yes. Hey. And, and, and in the way he says that um, McTominay and Fred brings that energy, you can look at it. That's kind of what Cavani does to, to the to the front three. I think the t- I think Oli and Fred have got the same mentality. Well, Fred only came out the other week and said he's learning the position. You know what I mean? So they're two quotes that are exactly the same. Are they not? Are they not exact? Tell me they're not the same. One comes out and says, Fred comes out and says he's still learning the position. And then Ollie comes out and says, Fred breaks up the play and he's got heaps of energy. <laughs> Tell me that is not the same. I know. It, you know what's crazy? I, <coughs> okay, so like with Ollie's comment about Fred and McTominay, right? I I kind of like, I kind of feel like um, it's the same exact situation with Dalo, right? This is off brand. This is off the topic, whatever, <laughs> right? But it's like, all they want Fred and McTominay because there's something about their game. Yeah, but they get the right? results. That's why he plays them. I, They've we, got we a good win rate. That's right, but they don't create anything. They don't create it, anything. It, it seems like there's something about his game that he feels that it's more important than the the rest of the issues that they have in their game, right? And yeah, I feel like he, people that are say, asking for Dalot to say come, that they have got. They have got a good win rate, and that, and I agree with him. They, they, do, do. they do. They, they do. do. They do have but, a good win. When but the thing is, they when when they do have that good win rate, right? They have to be. They have to play at at least a seven, at at least a seven for us to yeah. even have a chance. Like yeah. if you look at the games that we won with them in the lineup, they play. Those are what, like if you look look back at a lot of the fans. A fan chats, a lot of them were all saying like, yo, Fred, McTominay, they did pretty good. McTominay, Fred. One of them has to play light the fuck out. But if them, both of them die, we are fucked. Like, going forward. You know? they don't, but they don't offer much going forward. They, they don't, don't offer anything going forward. That's what I mean, I'm they saying. Don't, I, I, they really don't. They don't. don't Tell me what they offer me. going forward. Besides turning over the ball, Fred, I mean. Nothing. But I, McTominay I, was I, out of the game last week. And I like McTominay. I'm a big yeah, fan of I, McTominay. I like Mc, but he wasn't I, even I in like the game Scott. last week. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah I like Fred. Uh, I like McTominay too. I actually like McTominay more than Fred. But, but after that's last week, hard. I felt like I, 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 like, uh, I like McTominay because of Fred, uh, over Fred because McTominay actually has a shot outside of the box. Where I've seen Fred in the same position, 
Hey, Fred scored more just, goals than McTominay this year. That's, I, yeah. yeah. I, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying, but like, <laughs> okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, hey, let, me, no, 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 let, me, let me add yeah, let me like, add Adam, like Adam, Adam, yeah. Adam you're, you're a few years younger, right? A few years yeah, younger? Yeah. I'm 46. I'm, actually, oh, I'm, I'm 47. I'm, I'm creating a scenario, right? <laughs> All right? You're a few years younger, right? You're playing left winger for Manchester United. Right? Yeah. You're bombing down the left, right? You Ronaldo. See, just like Ronaldo, exactly. <laughs> right? And you have an opportunity to cut the ball in. Mm. Are you cutting the ball in? When you cut the ball in, are you looking at Fred? Are you hoping that Fred gets the ball? Or are you hoping that McTominay gets the ball? Yeah, but that's not Fred's job. He plays a six. He's a defensive he midfielder. He's not, it's not his job to get into the box. It's his job no, to be the outside the box. So you're asking me if I'm running down the left and I'm going to put a cross in. Outside the box. I'm looking... Red, That's what, Fred yeah, is Fred's not there. Fred is sitting. Fred's in a the, defensive midfielder. Is, Fred breaks out the play, and yeah, but with, def- with, protects the back four, even though yeah, there's so, a a, a, a world class defender there. I don't know what he's protecting because I don't know what he's doing there. But well, uh, we will find out one all day. I'm, all I'm saying is we've we've seen plenty of games where Fred is in the position to make shots, to take shots, because you know. Yeah, but that's because that's because we're playing Bruno against a low is block in team. The box next to we're, we're playing against a low block team, so therefore McTominay and Fred have to play higher. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 why they're around the box. That's gotcha. why they're around the box. Right. They have to play higher. And our defense is in front of our halfway. So that's why they're there. Okay. Let's get a prediction for tomorrow. Adam, I'll start with you. What's this? What, what are you predicting for tomorrow's score? Uh, United 2 1. I'll never back against them. You, you, I can't, I'm, can't keep going 3 1. It's, it'll be close. I've got to start being like Joe. It's, it's 2 1. No, Joe, look, Joe said last week, Joe said last week, I think you one, said one. 2 1 or 1 all. Yeah. 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 And, and that's a common sense result. Like, look at, look at McCabe. I believe in every player that's in this cave whether they've played 10 games for United or they've played 500 games for United. You know, and every game I like to see United go and win 3-1 or 3-0 or yeah. 5-0. But you've got to look at common sense with this team. We've had four draws previously. Um, yeah, four. They've all been nil or or one all. So I, I think it'll be the same. Villarreal's very um, well-structured. They probably keep the ball. Better, very well-structured, better than us. You know, um, every team we've played against, I don't feel that we've dominated that team, even though we won 4-1 or whatever it was against Leeds. I still don't believe that we dominated that game, even though we're bagging goals. So I I think it's going to be the same thing. I think it's going to be a 2-1. I don't think we can... I I can't see us keeping clean sheets. Right. So a 2-1 for me. 2-1 for Adam. Joe. Um... Assuming that uh, the the uh, the coaches and the managers over there at Villarreal have YouTube, if they decide to press our midfield, it's going to be a one-one, possibly a two-one loss against oh, Manchester United. Wow! If they do <laughs> not press, our, yeah, because we're assuming we are assuming that Fred and McTominay are starting the game, and over the last few weeks. I we it, all he has shown us that he does not have an answer for that press in the midfield. So if they got the if they get, if if they have enough balls to press us in the midfield, all right, and Ole doesn't have an answer for that, it's going to be a two and one two one loss. And um, but if they if they play defensively anyway, and um, they don't press us. Them not pressing us gives us, I would say, maybe at least 30 to 40 percent more opportunities to create chances, right? Right, and not, not saying that not naturally, um, McFred are going to be um, moving the ball a lot better, it's just that we're just going to get more opportunities and we'll probably win uh, 2 1 simply because we have such liabilities in Dallo and um. 
on the left side if he plays. Lindelof. So I'm just reading here. Oh. I'm just reading here yeah, on Villarreal. It's definitely a two one. <laughs> definitely a two one, bro. Okay. I'm just reading here on Villarreal. So mm. Oli, I'm just reading on Oli as well. Mm. Like he said, seven seven losses. Uh, uh, what is it? Eleven games, seven losses, and so he's uh, that's in um, Champions New Europe, League. right? In Champions League, and then Villarreal is unbeaten in their last sixteen major UEFA European games, with twelve wins and four draws across Europa League and Champions League. Wow, the longest current run of any side. So it just shows how organized organized they are. The only Spanish team to have a longer run of unbeaten games in you. Uh, UEFA European history and is this Espanol between September 2006 and November 2019, 20 in a where, row. Where are we playing? Old Trafford. Old Trafford. Uh, that doesn't matter uh, anymore. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter uh, anymore. Well, no, no, no. See, I was going to I was gonna give us a 3-1 win if we were away. <laughs> but uh, at Old Trafford, if they press us in the midfield, it's going to be a 2-1 loss. And I would assume that that would be the catalyst of Ole getting sacked by... I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being negative. I'm just looking at he it get the writing punt. on the wall. Look, he's got a three-year contract still. He won't, he won't get the punt. There's no way. Didn't Ben Hall have a five-year contract? Who, who Three, yeah. Had a five-year? yeah, but there's a big difference. So Ollie's, Ollie's Part of the furniture. Yeah. Part of the furniture. Yo, right. no, no, no. So you guys are no, both no, no. the only thing that's part of the furniture is money, right? And <laughs> it jumps. only looks like he's about to start <laughs> taking money out. You know, he's gonna get they're gonna they're gonna call the sandman. The sandman. I don't know what I don't know if you guys know what the sandman is all out there yeah. in Australia. Oh, sandman is, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it the same sandman uh, you know from the Apollo Theater? Yeah, well, it wasn't there a song, mate, with the Sandman? Guns and Roses, mate. No, I mean, that's the Sandman that's, scripture that's, away. That's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, uh, in the Apollo Theater, it used to be, uh, it's like a, um, it's like an amateur night, right? Right, and yeah. When, if you were bad, there would be a guy called the Sandman, and you would have this, this big broom. He would come by, or broom, he would just scoop you out the, uh, Off the, the stage. crowd is, Booing yeah, you to get off. Booing and everything. That's the Sandman. And I feel like okay. if Ole uh, crashes out of the Champions League, that's it's the Sandman. He's he's putting his gloves on, he's putting his hat on, and it's about to go down. What whether whether um a three year contract or five year contract, it doesn't matter because once once you, because that's hurting the brand. We're hurting the brand. Constantly and going know and not that guys, group stage. These these fuckers, they love that brand. They that badge you got right there. They love that. And they can't be having the brand looking the way Ole's got them looking right now. If he if he crashes out of the Champions League by losing to Villarreal, the team that cost us a a, a, a trophy last season. Ah, Ole's gotta go in. Ole Ole can't. He can't. He's got to be merciless. Like he, he's got to. He's got to put them to the fucking sword, sword. man. That's what we want. Like the, but the, he won't. The, the, he'll the just fans. play. He won't play attacking football. Okay, then he'll he play, but he'll be cautious. He'll be cautious. Yeah, he'll be cautious. Cautious as all you want. Right. You've both predicted Adam has gone two one. Joe has gone two one. Loss or one one. Joe, I'm just gonna sit on the fence. I don't even know anymore. I don't know what team's going to come out. I, so I, I don't know. I just, I hope for the best and I hope we don't lose. That's where I'm going to leave it. Right. As it is now, yes or no, is tomorrow a must win or it's not yet a must win stage we're at? Joe? Must win. Must All win. Day. Like if, if, um, if we lose tomorrow. Yeah. And if we lose because of tactics and mm. Ole and the mm. lineup, mm. I am formally, formally filling up my my uh, my membership form for the Ole Out Brigade. Like I'm not, I'm not fucking around. <laughs> Hang on a minute, you were just I talking am... about the other day that if he doesn't win the Champions League, then he'll lose his job. <laughs> hey, I say, I'm saying, 
I said I'm filling out my form. That, he's he's, he's, he's submitting it. <laughs> he's filling it out, not submitting it. Just filling it out. Okay, yeah. he's not submitting it. Adam, <laughs> is it? Of Elmer's course, every. Yeah, well, I mean, what have we got? The, the, the other two teams that are above us are only on one point each. So, yeah, a point or th- one point or three points is a must. So, um, yeah. we, we definitely can't be losing it, that's for sure. So, you know, the, the team that we've got should be taking three points. And I know we sit here week in, week out, saying that they should be taking the three points. And... Um, and I don't differ from that. So, you know, I expect, and it, I know it's not reality that we'll win every single game, but I expect mm. United to win every game. So, right. and I, I, no one should expect anything else. So if you're supporting a team, you, you support them because they win, not because, um, you know, they scrape a draw or, or <laughs> they're happy to give three points away. So right. that's, that's what I think anyway. So. Well, you've heard it from Adam. You've heard it from Joe. They've told you the views, the predictions, the lineup expected tomorrow. With a few injuries to Maguire, um, who else is injured? Um, one is okay. suspended. Is yeah. short is short playing tomorrow? Is he, or is he, he out as well? It's 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 touch and go. I think he's the last time I saw. I think he might be able to get in. Right. Yeah, so I think he's he was back. Yeah. So with that only, lineup tomorrow, only Beatles, the physios all day, every day. With that lineup tomorrow, regardless, with seventy-five thousand people behind United, it would be a travesty not to deliver three points. It would be a travesty not to win that game tomorrow because it is a must-win. Come to think about it, we cannot lose two games back to back. That puts more pressure. And there's no guarantee you're going to be Atlanta. Atlanta. There's no guarantee there. There's none. I, it, I, don't, no. I don't know. I, I feel like if... Um, I, at, at this point right now, I feel like we have more pressure because yeah. we're playing at home. Yeah. I think the game is more difficult because we're playing at home. I if remember. We playing there at, at their home ground, I think this is an easy... This is an easy 3-1 win, I would call it. Right. But... That does not. That's he not said last season he misses the fans. Now these are the fans. He needs to be careful what he wishes for. He said he misses the fans. They'll make a difference. Now they're there. You're not performing. Who's fooling who? I'm just reading on Luke Shaw. He's gone. Luke has been in today, so I've given him a chance to be involved tomorrow. He didn't train with the team. Harry is more or less definitely out. Mm. It doesn't look good apart from uh, if that. Train, if he didn't from train, the it's got to be pride, from, yeah. Sorry? If he didn't train, it's got to be Tellers. Yeah, so it looks like Tellers will probably come in. So so you're looking you're looking Lindelof and Varane tomorrow, right? Not Varane and Bay. Yeah. Lindelof and Varane, right? It's got to be Varane. Yo, it's got to be Varane, man. Please. Wow. Yo, no, no, seriously. If no, Varane will start tomorrow for sure. If it's it'll be if it's if it's Lindelof and Bay. Well, I'm he hasn't even. Don't put it what? past him to try um, Varane Jones. and Bailey because he hasn't does that, done that yet. He hasn't done the Varane and Bailey thing yet, has he? No, he hasn't. Wait. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. Wait. It could Wait. be it could be uh, Lindelof and Jones because yeah, Jones is back. Be, I noticed. I noticed Jones in the training video <laughs> no that, we, way, that, that we put out today. And I'm like, yo, Ole. He's been playing with the reserves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Like, no, James if, won't if, come in. There's no way he'll come in. But if, if uh, Jones come in, with this guy, like, I would not be surprised if he says, Jones, I'm going for 10 minutes. Go show up that defense. To for me, 10 minutes, get I feel like, to me, I feel like Jones is the big glass in, in case of emergency. And that emergency needs to be you have no center back left on the lineup because of injury. And I'm talking about even the guys that play center back when they were in peewee uh, footy, right? Like if anybody ever plays center back, right, I feel like any one of them is be- is a better option than uh, Phil Jones, Jones. Philly, <laughs> Philly J. 
I don't, I, I, I do not want to see that it's too big of a stage. And I feel like it's just, it's just the perfect script for us to run right back into the whole banter club thing. I, know, I don't, right? I don't, I don't want to see Phil Jones and the Manchester United kit. Well, you have, Champions League. you've heard it from Adam. You've heard it from Joe. They've told you what they think. If you disagree, if you agree, drop your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share our comments. Share your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Joe, it's been an absolute pleasure. And Adam, we'll see you guys after the game for our match reactions tomorrow or on the day after. But United. we'll keep our fingers, we think our fingers crossed. Glory, glory, my United. I'll see you guys on the other side. From us, it's goodbye and good night. Adams, thank you very much. And Joe, hey, thank bro. you very much. Take care, guys. Yes, bro. Right. See ya. Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah,